I've owned and streamed with literally every Leap Motion device, and while the Leap Motion 2 was good, I always knew it wasn't my final hand tracking solution. Every stream that I do is with full body tracking, and my number one complaint was always the lack of range. It sucked because the moment my hands would exit the Leap Motion's vision, my fingers would no longer work. I knew I wanted VR gloves, but a lot of them were way out of my price range. Lately, there are a couple of more affordable options, and I'd like to go over my thoughts on them. Both of these systems that I'm going to talk about, DiverX's Contact Glove and the Stretch Set Studio Gloves, have some surprising similarities. Let's get this out of the way. They aren't cheap, and therefore it's going to be hard for me to recommend. DiverX's Contact Glove is $533 from EOZ, although I paid a bit less for the first revision on Kickstarter. And the Stretch Sense Gloves are $795. Besides the big price point, both of them use a Bluetooth dongle and proprietary software to capture your finger movements. Other than that, there's a couple of major differences. Let's go over the Diver X Glove first. Unlike Stretch Sense, the Contact Glove is designed to work with Vive or Tundra trackers, although there have been some developments so that it'll also work with Mocha P. I have no experience with Mocha P, so I can't speak to that. You'll have to unscrew the back blade on the Tundra trackers to attach the glove sensors, but other than that, it's not too hard to set up the hardware. There were a couple of other parts I bought to modify the glove, but I think they may be fixed in the latest revision. The first was a spongy layer that goes under the finger sensors. This feels a lot nicer than the hard plastic that was there. The second is this tiny 3D printed stop that prevents the trackers from sliding out. To use the gloves, you'll need to start up Diving Station, the contact glove software, and turn on the glove sensors as well as the trackers. You can then calibrate and do a bunch of other stuff. One thing that's nice about the contact glove is that it'll show up in Steam VR and you can use it in games like VR Chat. It also comes with a joystick and buttons that you can put on your gloves, but I don't have them on mine since I'm using it for VTubing instead of gaming. My main gripe with the contact glove is that they aren't fingerless. I modified mine poorly to remedy this issue, but I lose a bit of fidelity when making a fist. And in order to have a tight fit, I also wear these arthritis gloves underneath, which makes the gloves super bulky. I'll probably keep these round in case I ever want to do a 24 hour stream, but if you're in the market, I'd probably save up for the Stretch Sense gloves. If DiverX is more geared towards gamers, the original application of the Stretch Sense gloves is for professional mocap. Accordingly, the mount options on the website are for more professional mocap systems. There's not really a Vive tracker option, but if you ask them after you place your order, they'll include a mount. Now you have to buy a screw on your own, but since I'm a crazy person, I already have a kit that has a bunch in there. Setup is pretty much the same as the Diver X, where you'll need to use a Bluetooth dongle and their software, Hand Engine Lite, to capture your hand movements. Unfortunately, since their sensor isn't really aware of Steam, you'll need to set up a separate VMC listener inside of Virtual Motion Capture to link the two. One advantage that Stretch Sense gloves have is that they actually support finger splay, which is to say you can spread your fingers and it'll just know. The contact glove doesn't really track this. The other big advantage is that they're already fingerless and already form-fitting, so they feel so much better. One thing that did trip me up though on my first couple of usages is that there's not really a way to turn them off. You kind of just let them go until they can't talk to the dongle. If you do a long press on the button, it'll restart the pairing procedure, which is probably what you don't want. Other than that, I haven't had any big complaints about the glove. The mount wobbles a little, but unless they're going to build it into the gloves, I think that's pretty much to be expected. All that being said, I'm happy to have a system that avoids the dreaded LEGO hand. If you're a full body VTuber with cash to spare, Stretch Sense is definitely the way to go. Ultimately, it'll be up to you, but I know I won't be using Elite Motion device anytime soon. Bye!